not know the note of this song, right? You don't know when you stop it in, you don't know when you do this, you don't know when you do that. And the only song that I have come across yet that y'all know is good. What about this song? Huh? What song is this?
And I'm going to be highly upset if either one of y'all is standing. Whether like the board or the board. You hear me? And that's a lot of what's happening. I put these folks in front of y'all in the form, and you still just stood. When it wasn't your part, you stood. When it wasn't your part, you stood. When it wasn't your part, you stood. You looked bored out of your mind when you were standing. I oh, wasn't lights like I just lost two. Anyway, there's a whole band behind y'all. Interact with them. The only way I'm going to get these two boys moving is for y'all to interact and then they will understand I need to start doing around. Again, okay? If y'all walk up to them and lean on them, they'll run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want, okay, as they're taking their, their parts, do you want the one who is not singing to do most of the moving? Or do you want the one who is singing? I want both of them. Both of them to me. Y'all should never be just standing. This should never happen in a show. Okay? Your feet together, standing with a microphone in front of you. This should never, ever, ever happen. I want you to go watch these videos on YouTube. All these performers, and you tell me one time where they're just standing. Carrie Underwood sings ballads like this. Okay? Like this. I've never seen this out of any of y'all, and y'all got rocking songs going on. There's a stage. Walk it. Interact with everybody. Interact with the folks out front. Both of you have a free hand, okay? That is super hard for me as a performer because I'm used to having my guitar as my security blanket to sing and play with and interact with my guitar. <coughs> Y'all have a free hand. Watch these ladies in rock and country music. You use that hand for expression. As I watch both of y'all sing, that hand's right there. It never moves. You'll move the hand with the mic, but this hand never moves. It just lays by your side. Watch the videos. Watch what happens with that other hand. They interact. Okay? Don't be. Um, what I say? What's the rule? The, the more stupid that you feel, the better it looks to the crowd. That is okay? okay? Don't be afraid to grab that microphone, pull it up to you, look, and point out the crowd as you're singing. Don't be afraid to do things like that. This is making you feel stupid. You didn't think about it. Yeah. Walk up to Harrison. Walk up to Zach. The more Sing stupid you feel, by the better it looks. <coughs> do we need to get the two girls together to just choreograph some stuff between maybe. the two of them? Maybe. At least. I'm thinking between maybe. now and then, sometime. Is there anybody who can help them with this kind of stuff? That we can work with between now and then. I'm going to bring Rob up here and maybe you and Chris and Rob up here. And just perform for him? Or, I mean, I'm thinking just physically. Just watch Cedar Creek shows. I'm thinking move, come up to him. Make them move. move their bodies, okay? And then show them. As a teacher, that's yeah. what. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta move them. Physically okay? move them. Physically move, move them. Happen, and stay. You see that stance you got going right there? If I ever see the stance that you got going on right now on the show, you're on restriction. Okay. okay. You understand what I'm saying? Easy on you're okay. He ain't being hard on me. I ain't being hard on me. He's being serious. I'm he trying to help y'all. Okay. All right. Okay. If this is family friendly. Yes. 
Come on, Mike. Yeah, come on. It is, man. I'm going to try it. Hey, look, look. Let's use Chrissy as an example. <laughs> the very first show we did is Cedar Creek together. Chrissy didn't do a whole lot of moving around. <coughs> Chrissy had no choice. Because we were other folks in Cedar Creek, we were all moving around. We jumped around like a bunch of fools, you know? All right? Jumping off speakers, doing our thing. And then all of a sudden, Chrissy, it just over, it washed over because Chrissy was used to singing solo performances not doing the full man thing. And now when you watch Chrissy doing full man, Chrissy's all over the place. Chrissy's acting like a fool. Are we gonna have wireless mic? So you interacting with them, with the boys, will show them where they need to go. But I need you to to start putting on the show to begin with. Choreography is great, okay? But it looks like choreography. <coughs> From time to time, you know what the things you need to do. Like turning each other and something bad, do everything, right? And stepping forward when you do your time to sing and do that thing. You know those things. Don't look them make don't make them look choreographed. Make them look natural. Like it's just second nature to do it. Okay? When you're jumping around acting like a fool, don't super plan it all out. Take influence from these women you see on YouTube and everything else. And then Chrissy gonna work something out. If we gotta physically use y'all like a marionette and show you what to do, it's gonna happen. But I'm serious, don't blow me off. Watch these videos and learn something. Take moves that you see all of these singers that you like to listen to, what they do live on stage, take those moves, use them. They did. They didn't make them moves up by themselves. They got moves from people that they like. That shows the crowd that you really are into the music. Guess what? That makes the crowd really into the music. And the more the crowd gets into what you're doing, the more you get into the crowd reacting and it's just taking on back and forth and then it's a great show. You get done, you're sweating. You're like, that's the best show we ever did. That was awesome. I want to do that again right now. But if you stand there and sing your song, the crowd is like, it don't matter how good it sounds. If it's not a show, they're like, and then that makes you more uncomfortable on stage. Then it makes the crowd more uncomfortable. There's that ping pong effect again, right? And then you get done and go, that show's hard. I don't ever want to do it. So the people that start this ping pong match are you guys. Just don't be afraid to start it. How old are you now, Camille? I'm going to turn 13 in March. You're 12. <laughs> and a half. Two 12 year old girls, okay? At this point in life, I understand where girls are. Trust me, I got three grown ones. I understand where you are as far as going, I'm going to do We got to let that go and throw it up in the okay? Because if you live a life right now like that in a band, it's never going to work. Feel free to express yourself and go stupid crazy. A lot of times, pick up the stick. A lot of times, I have watched bands that weren't that great musically at all. The singers weren't that great at all. But they put on a killer show. And I'm hearing people in the audience go, man, this is the best band in the world. You know why? Because <coughs> they put on a show. Spin that stick. And you spin this stick. Every three minutes you get, I want you to spin this stick. And see how good you can get at it. Because I'm going to teach you Gary Dykes. If I got to bring Gary, yeah, you're going. If I got to bring Gary Dykes in here, 
to sit him down behind drums and train you how to look like an 80s drummer, we're going to make it happen. I'm going to have you coming up, spin the stick, and come back down. All right, we're working on it this week. All right, y'all, hey, call me, call me and Leslie. Okay. We can get them together, figure out a time to get them together, and All actually right. do that. So. Yeah, I think that would work. Thanks. Watch. Your daddy can show you all these videos. Watch the 80s drummers and what they do. They put on a show. There's no reason because you're behind this kit that you can't put on a show man. Okay? You're an amazing drummer. Amazing drummer. Do your head struggle so much. <laughs> you are an absolutely amazing drummer. There's no reason that everybody in front of you can put on a show and you can't. You have that opportunity. You're restricted because you're sitting down on your throne, you're behind the kit and everything else. So the simple little things, like spinning the sticks and throwing them, and throwing them up and doing your thing, okay? That works. Sound good? Now, if I'm fussing at them about this song, I am not fussing at you. You understand? Me? These two boys, I'm going to put the for them to get them where they need to be. But you know your song. I understand that, okay? We're good. I'm going to let you go.